From the Wright brothers' first flight, air platforms quickly developed into fighter, reconnaissance, and bomber aircraft. The first bomber, the 1914 French Voisson, carried 132 pounds of bombs. Within four years, bombers could routinely carry close to a ton of ordnance. Even though bombers advanced through two world wars and military action in Korea and Vietnam, the munitions they delivered continued to be free-fall, unguided iron bombs. Air Force research spawned the Vietnam-era development of the Paveway Laser-Guided Bomb System, which resulted in the destruction of previously hard-to-hit targets like bridges and roads. In 1992, at Eglin Air Force Base, the Air Force created the Rapid Response High Gear Program called the Joint Direct Attack Munition Operational Concept Demonstration. This effort resulted in a GPS and inertial navigation system guidance kit that could be installed in Mark 82, 83, and 84 iron bombs. The JDAM kit includes steerable tail fins, an inertial navigation system, and a GPS receiver. The GPS receiver allows the bomb to locate itself in the INS, monitors the bomb's movement in 3D space. Before being dropped, the bomb's parent aircraft uses its own GPS receiver for targeting. It then feeds the targeting coordinates in the aircraft's current position into the bomb's computer. Once released, the JDAM's INS tracks its movement. The JDAM's own GPS receiver constantly calibrates the INS for increased accuracy. The guidance unit then steers the bomb to its target coordinates. Unlike laser-guided bombs, this system works in bad weather, smoke, and low visibility. AFRL research of precision targeting and guidance has led to fewer aircraft dropping fewer bombs, resulting in less collateral damage. These accurate munitions are saving lives in the air and on the ground.